Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. This is the day after the rain. We had almost two inches in uh, four days. Uh, 44 millimeters. It's brilliant. Just here behind these plants is the southern border and right in front is the sharp end of the pizza slice shape of this farm and then here is the round end of the pizza slice with a bite taken out of it I'm here on the largest flat part of the land. It's also the highest part of the land. And uh, there is no mushiness, no sogginess. Uh, the water infiltrates well, it doesn't run off that quickly. Uh, I expect that it actually drains towards the lower part. So we have this flat part, then we have rocks, and then we have the lower part on an incline. And uh, so I suspect that the water drains towards the lower part because on this side is a mountain where the water comes down so this is uh, the area I would like to rip and just plant something in it um, but I'm not convinced about doing this and how to do it. I have many plans about many things and I can only walk in the light I have and do one thing at a time. All the mushrooms are out. So I'm walking downhill on the western side of the land. This is the only neighbor I really have. The other two fences are public roads it's owned by the state, the state of Andalusia. We are the United States of Spain federal because of a kingdom but each state is somehow independent there is a culvert and the water comes down here into a creek this is the rocky part beautiful area we don't touch it we just have a walkway in the middle here and we will still put a few benches down there and uh, enjoy the beautiful view on this mountain range Sierra Morena so as soon as we get here uh, this is the first swale and uh, it's full of water and actually the creek water comes up to here this is the fence line and this is that 30 hours after the last rain and the further I go the wetter it gets
This whole area here is the Hara brush that we want to clear. It is not a simple task. This season we will actually spend clearing what we have cleared before because of the new growth. And here I have placed some stones because this area is very moist and I thought a good place for a pond. And then the next swale also full of water. This is a very clay clayish part of the land. And because of these two swales and perhaps because of on top of the flat area the water infiltrates and it comes down here so this will be more humid this is an area cleared of the hara and then i planted all sorts of wheat here and nothing came of it because uh, i don't know I think the weed uh, came up stronger than uh, the wheat that I planted. So uh, I still have to learn how to plant it. Some water flowing. And this is mushy, this is wet. This swale is full. And then getting towards the northwestern border, the lowest part, about 25, 26 meters lower than the top end. And here is a ford, because there's always some running water here, not always when it rains and this is wet there's water coming through here there's no not much water flowing but a trickle after the rain And then going eastwards on this northern border this is full these swales This is the regrowth of the Hara that we are busy removing. This is full. And uh, the creek actually fills them up because we have a branch coming down 
flow of the water and uh, it's just beautiful to see that the little water we get out of the, the side canal of the creek can do so much and then we get to the house and the garden this is where the creek water comes in this is a another area the, the soil is extremely good drained spongy even in summer it feels much better and i am not too sure why it is different but i just appreciate that it is and this is the chicory this is one area we have quite some chicory and another one on the other side and i would like to protect it a bit and see what we can do with the chicory hello we have a new volunteer <laughs> this is full the elm tree polofnia rosemary beautiful sight it's still something we try to get used to that it is so green and this is the an example of the bimodal nature of the oak trees now it's growing it does the same thing in springtime and in autumn so uh, it's perfectly suited for Mediterranean climate, the home oak, cork oak. This one is the second year, this one is the first year. Till next time, goodbye.